Sometimes, despite our best efforts, things go wrong. In the event of an electrical accident, it's important to be prepared. Never touch a person who is in contact with a live wire. This will expose you to the same electrical charge that the victim is receiving. Instead, immediately cut the power and call for medical assistance. Electrical fires can be caused by short circuits, sparking and even the heat generated by faulty electrical lines and equipment. So it's important to know the location of fire extinguishers near your work area. Remember, electrical fires require Class C extinguishers. If a fire is too hot to handle, get out and leave fighting it to the professionals. If there is an electrical accident, a working knowledge of first aid can be invaluable. Cover minor electrical burns with a loose, dry, sterile dressing and bandages. Seek medical attention to avoid any complications. Injuries that cause a lot of pain can throw the body into shock. This is when the body tries to treat the injury itself by rerouting the flow of blood to the injured area, which can leave other areas of the body without the blood they need. In these cases, it's important to treat the shock victim immediately. If your body is allowed to remain in shock for too long, it can actually kill you. Wrap something around the victim to keep them from getting chills. Try to calm them down. If they get agitated, their shock could get worse. Stay with them until emergency help arrives. Electrical injuries are often serious enough that the victim stops breathing. If this occurs, use CPR if you're trained in administering it. Keep it up until the victim starts breathing again or medical help arrives.